stay away from the field. Field 2752. It wasn't that hard, was it, Coward Top? You got it now? Yeah, I got it. Better? No thanks to you, Coward Top. Yeah, Coward. Chicken. Afraid of cameras. You're making me uncomfortable. I, I know we are, leave. because you're a coward. I need you to leave right now. Back up. Do you want to back up or leave? Back up. There's five of you. Back up. Why don't you back up? Back up, sir. Look at you. You're getting all aggressive. Can you come get back with him. With him. With him. You're approaching get her. With him. You're approaching her. That's fine. Get back with him. You, you keep, you keep approaching her. Up. Why are you touching her? Back Howard Corporal Cop got Christy with us. This is being live streamed, so you can confiscate all our cameras. It doesn't matter. It's already uploaded. I would like to remind all the viewers that Field decided to go after the two females in our group. He doesn't like to go after the males. Maybe it's just bigger than the females. Make him tougher. Get his aggression out on random females so he doesn't beat his wife. Who knows? What's your name and badge number, sir? You don't have a name and badge number? Why do you need to meet the DSA? Because you're a public servant, aren't you? What? I, I'm, I'm a public servant. I, I'm a public, uh, I'm a, a citizen. You're a public servant. You're paid for by my tax dollars. You don't have to give your name and badge number? Is that what you're saying? Are you a coward cop just like that corporal? Afraid of cameras? Afraid to be seen? Afraid that the public's going to find out what you do for a living? Most cops, good cops at least, the ones who call themselves good, give us their name and badge number. Why are you afraid to give your name and badge number? Not afraid. Then give us your name and badge number. We have nothing to do with this call. You're a public servant. You, are you not? Who pays your salary? Who pays your salary? Do you know? Do you know where the money comes from? What does it say on the side of your car? Do you know what it says on the side of your car? You know a little lot of uh, propaganda thing right next to the badge. You know what that says? No, you never looked at it. All right. So we have a coward cop and we have an idiot cop. Yep. We're, not, we're not worthy of murder. Public servants don't want to tell us. They want to hide in the shadows. We got your, we got your unit number, 8539. Cortez? Happy Cortez? Do you have the number? 8539 is the unit number. Oh, his car number? Play 1026572. 
you think you can hide from us? We can't find out your name? Can you what are you thinking right now? You're, you're with me now. Of you would have shot me. I'm scared. <laughs> How much do we pay you each year to do this? To just stare people down? And to harass the tables men. Harass females. Yeah, you're you're a tough corporal coward cop over there. He decided that he was gonna touch a female because he was afraid of her, because she had a camera. Are you afraid of cameras? There you go guys. funny when uh, the man invoked his right to not incriminate himself. You cops kept asking him questions. You didn't let him off the hook. But us, your employers, the people who pay your salary, we, we're not worth your time, are we? You can't tell us your name and badge number. Trying to come up with an answer. So we got two nameless cops and one coward cop. We're gonna look real bright on the internet tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Bunch of tough guy APD cops afraid to give us their name and badge number. Afraid of cameras. Most of all, afraid of two petite women. Don't want to go after the men. Go after those women first. Knock a woman to the ground, the men might get scared. Your three guns aren't enough though, are they? Yep. I would say he's a mute cop, but we did hear him speak to us. I wonder if there's another one. Oh. Well, there's a lot of other crime going on right now. These other oh, cops yeah. should be focusing on. They've already got the... We don't care about the rape, the burglaries. We got people with cameras. Yeah. Protect and serve the thin blue line. So how does it feel to be given this shit duty? Corporal Cop? His name is definitely Cortez. Cortez. Coward Corporal Cop. Can't deal with the camera, so he hands it off to you. Are you a rookie? Do you get all this shit assignment? That was a baggie to just drop in there. Are you proud of your service? Are you proud of the work that you do? Because if he was, he tells you. Yep. Tough guy, cop. You have body armor underneath that? Mm. Can't answer that either.
One, two, three, four, five, six cameras. That must be scary. Protecting and serving, aren't you? Making this community so much safer. Keeping those dastardly cameras at bay. If you're really doing your job, you wouldn't be afraid of cameras. You wouldn't be afraid to give me a name and badge number. You wouldn't be doing shit work for Calvary Cobb. I think he became mute oh. after we asked him his name and badge number. You know why we're here, right? We wouldn't be here if you guys didn't have so many thugs in your organization. Thugs in your gang. Gang. blue line. Thug blue line, I like to say. You know, we do have a hero of the month. Hero cop of the month. We haven't been able to find one yet, but... You could be the first. All you have to do is arrest a cop who's committing a crime. And it happens all the time. All you have to do is man up and arrest that cop. You'll probably get killed by your Thug Blue Line brothers, but we'll make you a hero. Acevedo probably won't give you a 30 mile procession, but we'll give you a procession. Better be dead with morality than make a ton of money off the taxpayers' attention because you're immoral, right? Maybe not. Gang brothers just left. Two of them. Is that Coward Cop's name? Field? Field, yeah. Field? Yeah, I'm watching him. What's that? Keeping a close eye on him. Walking yeah. over there. Who can feel this? Mm -hmm. Coward. Coward cop. So nervous. I feel so nervous. Coward cop? Yeah. yeah <laughs> so like criminal cop. It's like, dude, stop repeating yourself. <laughs> the weight, yeah. weight yeah. of air. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the thing. Oh wait. Come. Is that the uh, car with the uh, suspect in it? It is. Mr. Uh, Jason Randall. That's his name? Oh, your coward cop friend there didn't give us his name and badge number. Can you ask uh -oh, him? Oh, are they going to hit each other? Oh, no. Oh, he's a cop. Don't know how to manage their cars. Over. Yeah, hey, get this, uh, get this, uh, coward license plate when it comes out. What's he backing up for? Oh, that's that joint. Hey, coward cop, now that the, uh, suspect has left, can we go back to our car? You're not done with the scene? Nope. These cars picked up and blow. Mm, okay. We can go. So we're being detained now. Oh, you're free to go whenever you want, but you can't go back over here until I get caught. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Oh, you do speak. <laughs> can we get your name and badge number now? As if it's going to be hard to figure out. All right. 
Yeah, the light. Yeah, is that better? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Does that make you feel like a good cop? Good cops arrest bad cops. Yeah, we give a letter. Oh man, too bad we didn't have this for the Eric Howard top. Do you ever just wonder why you're doing this? Beyond the money, of course. Like how it feels to be a member of a gang that abuses people, arrests people under false pretenses, shakes them down, harasses minorities and homeless people. Do you ever ask yourself that question? Or are you just doing your job? I was just doing a job. I was just doing a job. Nuremberg trials. Have you heard of the Nuremberg trials? World War II history? No? Okay. Oh, well, my daughter is dying. We'll call and let a message. Is his mom's number? Oh, he gave his number? He gave us his oh, number. Oh, nice. And she called, and, and uh, there was no answer. They had left a message on the answer machine. Okay. Obviously, he didn't get in time to keep getting the car cut. Yep. All right, he's pretty close. So that's what I tell him. Get the 183 bucks from each guy you guys pull over. Certain people get certain donations. Austin Policemen's Association, city council members. It's a good, good racket you guys got going. Yeah. 